have talked a little bit about mentorship and uh, I know how important relationships are to you, especially from what I've heard from you peer to peer. Do you consider yourself a mentor? Are you are you formally a mentor to anybody? I'm sure informally you you are. Uh, so that's on one end. And then do you have mentors that you kind of consult with? And I like to call them like a board of a personal board of directors. So I'll give you um, on the first question, I'll give you three examples. Um, and, and we talked about um, housekeepers and having help along the way. Well, interestingly, um, one of uh, one individual who worked uh, in my household was so impressed with the career side of things, even though she was a housekeeper, that um, it was important to her to better her circumstances. So she, at some point after having worked uh, with me for four years, she actually uh, became a teller at a bank. From there, she progressed um, into the hospitality industry and actually now is a general manager of a hotel. And all of that comes from these conversations about, you know, how, how do you make a better life for yourself? So that's a direct maybe influence right then. In fact, I just saw this individual in the last couple of days. Um, at work, I have a formal uh, mentor relationship. Um, and, and we are trying to take our most highest potential, most diverse leaders and pair them off with other leaders with whom they can have exposure. Um, this mentee of mine uh, will join my town halls. Um, sometimes if I have special projects going on, I may include this individual so that they can um, you know, get maybe a front row seat to um, how um, things work in my world, maybe learn from it, uh, anything I can do to help um, uh, you know, her career, her, her overall um, uh, business understanding um, on the controllership side, whatever whatever can be done. So that's the second. And third, quite informally, uh, I have someone on, on my team uh, who helps put together my um, board presentations. And so this is someone who doesn't, is not in my direct report team, uh, is, a, is a slightly junior in the organization, but uh, to have the opportunity to work directly with me uh, this individual's ability to process, learn a lot of what's going on that's actually going to the board, uh, put, you know, um, I'll say crisp presentations together. I mean, it's a terrific opportunity. It gives them a lot of exposure and also gives them a chance to, to learn a lot and for me to work with someone else in the organization and get to know their skill set. And this person uh, is now doing a rotation with our investor relations uh, team at Wells Fargo. So clearly it's proven to be helpful in their career as well. So that's uh, m me in my role as mentor. On the flip side, um, I came to work for Comerica um, as the controller, controller for the company. It was my first time having a large team. And uh, the lady who hired me was the, the CFO. And um, this this questions as you know I mentioned questions as advice she would ask me questions she says if I provide this um, outlook to investors what do you think uh, how do you think they'll receive it and I would think oh she's asking for my opinion so I could the, the idea of asking questions somewhat comes from her it was never a formal relationship she retired I still stay in touch with her today she still whenever I'm in a business situation she still gives me advice so uh, you don't have to have formal arrangements it's someone you respect I, I saw the people side of her leadership skills she she would come down from the executive floor walk the floor talk talk to people, ask them about their families. And it's like, okay, this is the type of leader I want to be uh, and who I want to surround myself with. And obviously she's taken a personal interest and we still stay in touch and text, even though it's not a work relationship anymore. And those are typically the best ones. 